Working too hard? Alright. Nice little section here. Three of us get together. Early before aid station one. That'd be, that'd be a good shot. Uh, Jason joined us now. We caught up to him after he was peeing. Yep. What do you think of the course so far? Oh, it's pretty nice. And... I'm, I'm happy with it. Back there on the uphill. There, you mean those three rocks? Yeah. Marcus, any words of advice? Uh, words of advice? No, I don't, I don't have any of Yeah. Yeah, well, thank you. You should join our group. Sure. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's a cool spot. Uh, pretty little section here some rocks but good news first bit of rocks in the course Cool little section. We got the conga line going downhill. This is fun. I think this whole race could be downhill. That'd be nice. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't so bad. Oh, it gets worse. <laughs> uh huh. All right, finally a little out of a pack. Stopped to pee, and all the conga got conga line left me. So they're up there. I don't know if we're gonna catch them. That was a little bit higher, hotter pace than I wanted to go up here. Slow and steady finishes the race. That's it. Oh, a little wet on the ground, yep. But overall, of course, it's in great shape. Uh, one of the 100Ks, or, uh, or relays, what it was, who went, went past already. That was pretty crazy. Like three hours in, Phew! speedy. All right, so I guess this is the prairie. Pretty cool. Bit of a road section here. Uh, I say it's trail yet. That's uh yeah, what are we, I don't know, almost 20 or so in, a little over. It's a fifth of the way there. Getting very sore in the hips and everything already, so not a good sign. Pace was too hot. I was at like sub 24 pace. Time to slow it down, take it easy. All right, out of the prairies. Still moving. I'm glad it didn't rain last night. This would be real bad. It's just a little mucky. Good trail again, back on the single track. Uh, sprinkled a little, not much, but yeah, nice day, humid. Um, just trying to stay loose, keep moving, keep, keep moving on. A 
little bit of rain now. No sprinkles. And a board run on. A lot of these little things. It's kind of fun. Good to run on. And at the end, you always get masses. Same spot. Yep, it's the same same spot. You want to try to loosen that again? Like it uh, not just yet. <laughs> I'll try to just go with these for now and see how it works. Thank you. Yeah, I just it's got to be more walking. The pace is still too hot. Hey, yeah, slow her down, man. You got a lot of time. I know. You got a lot, a lot of time. So don't even worry about that. Well, he's back. <laughs> Working through it. Working through it, yep. I got all dirty somehow. Well, it's not muddy really. There's a couple spots, but overall, of course, it's a good shave. So. That part's all good. The trick is not like Margie. No, it's not. Like, I feel like I should be running all the time, and I just need to, like, stop and walk. Good job, man. I still haven't made it to Z and things are going rough. Uh, hips are just getting so unbelievably painful when running and climbing and walking and standing all the time. <sighs> Fucker nuts. Alright, closing in on the end of Scrubber Naga Naga Bogger. Um, this is uh, what I thought I was going to see around each corner for the last two miles. But we're finally getting close here. Remembering Arctos. My ankles are remembering Arctos. But uh, yeah, tight, but it's feeling more manageable now. Been walking a shitload more, and it's been helping. So we'll keep that going forward. We're still under, well under 18 minute mile average. So just move forward. Yeah. Still got some rain coming down. Rained uh, a lot more than I thought I was going to, especially since the morning was all clean. But uh, now we got wet feet. And all the grass and stuff just makes it wet. So even if it stopped raining, we still got wet feet. Oh well. Hip is still really hurting. One step in front of the other. Well, it's a bit on the slippery side, kind of hard to run on. Well, it's dry once again, and sand now, but uh, everything is super stiff, ankle issues, hip issues, all the issues. Stopping at 100k sounds really good right about now. Uh, I have to actually make it to that fucking far first. My heart was not in this one. Well, we're through Bluff, heading back towards uh, Nordic. We had to stop at Tamarack yet, one more stop there. And uh, some ibuprofen seemed to help quite a bit, so. Spirits are a little higher. We'll get to Nordic and get a refresh. I'm sure that'll help too. It's pretty cool out here. I don't know if the uh, fog's coming in, but we're getting close to Nordic. It's pretty neat. Temperature's starting to drop. But still feeling all right.
All right, we'll walk up to Bluff here. Second to last time we get to see Bluff. This is the one I grew at last year. So it's exciting. If I can get through. here just past uh, highway 12 8 station so it should be about 15 miles left to go it's about 5 30 a.m. Uh, seven and a half hours to go 15 should be able to walk it if my legs hold on which right now is a big F what's my left leg all day my right knee is I think I mentioned that last time too but it's gotten bad so Oh well, I guess that's how it goes. Pretty out the dawn of a new day. It's pretty out here, huh? Alright, heading back towards Bluff. Um, this is which will wrap up the end of the second out and back. Now we just have nine, about nine to go right now, seven from Bluff. Um, it's about five hours left to go. So, still moving, still on target to make the finish. Just gotta keep moving, keep moving. That, well, that's the hard part right now. No rain today, nice and sunny, not a cloud in the sky. All right, we're through Bluff. It's starting to get exciting now. Uh, six and change to go. So, like a 10K. Nice easy walk. My legs are on fire and feel like they're gonna cramp. So, we don't want them to cramp. Just need to get to the damn finish line. All right, past the Tamarack, the last uh, aid station, five to go. So I gotta put in some thank yous for all the people who were here. Jake, uh, uh, Emily, Chad, we're all crewing, um, not taking turns. That was pretty awesome. Um, Emily and Chad both did some running. Um, and then, uh, yeah, it's just Luke and uh, Nicole Vermont. After they were done volunteering all day, they came over and helped me get my shoes changed and get reset to go back out. And thank you, thank you all very much. Uh, my mom made a special trip over as well um, to see me at the 50k mark, which was great. That was uh, things were getting dark then, so it was it was good to see her. All right, to the finish. Yeah, mile 16 when I lost the group. That was mentally lost it. My heart was never in this one. My head was, my body sort of was, but my heart never was. And what, that... What was the reason you signed up for this year? Because you signed up a year prior, you were supposed to do it. Yeah. Why did you show up today? What was the purpose of it? Mostly it proved to myself I still could do it, but I didn't take it seriously enough. And like I said, my heart just wasn't there. I think I wasn't... I referenced in blog posts like being afraid of it and it's like I think that's it. Like I, I wasn't thinking of it. I wasn't afraid of it. it. Took every fucking thing I had to get through this one. Being here now, does this prove something to you? To yourself? Or what is something yeah, I think so. Like knew that it grew. proves that when when shit does get hard, I can fucking dig deep and and make it actually happen. There was a point when I was doing the out to Rice Lake, I'm counting on the, how many hours I got to get back, and it's like, you know what, I'm just gonna go until I get pulled off the course. If I'm walking the whole time, whatever. It's just gonna be how it is. 
Yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's just get her finished now because I'm ready to sit down. <laughs> My for legs you. hurt a lot. <laughs> Everyone else feeling good? Everybody's good. Give a highlight of <clears throat> this last day. Um, I think it was, I was getting dizzy through, this, through the, the morning. Feeling like I was just gonna fall over on the trail walking. And another lady came in, and another lady came in saying the same thing. And one of them sat next to me and like, you got a half hour per mile right now, and you can do this. Like, you just, it's a half hour per mile, you can definitely walk that. Just keep moving. And uh, when I left her, it's one of those you get motivation, someone else needs. Immediately I was just taking that and kind of turned a corner from that point. And I decided I didn't want to get in at 29 hours and 59 minutes. When you say that this is one of the hardest earned ones, can you describe it a bit? Because yeah, you've done a lot of hard things. Right. Just my heart wasn't in it, you know. Thanks. It wasn't from the get-go wasn't through the training so I wasn't prepared and that made all the difference in the world if you really want one it's a bit messy in here Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Thank you very much. This is uh, an experience I won't forget. That's for sure. I wanted to see you. I do not feel that way. You did good. You got her done? That's what happened. I got her done. <laughs> I felt like quitting from mile 16. Yeah. You didn't. Yeah. <laughs> Even so, more. so that that was that was one of the hardest things that I've done just because I, I wasn't prepared and my mind might have been there but my heart wasn't and yeah they took everything just to kind of keep going like that was you made it yeah, okay, yeah. I can barely stand. <laughs> Good thing you've got poles. <laughs> but you're standing and you made it, man. That's that's cool. Yeah. Very happy to have this accomplishment done. Show her off. <laughs>